All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, this make it Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the duty takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you 
start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. That's a big strike right there. Clipped him with a right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Get out of there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Just over three minutes to go. Real quick leg kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, big head kick lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he's got the tie clinch. Blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good night if that landed. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, and he caught the kick. Unable to connect with the right. And he landed the right hand there. Big knee there. Nice punch lands over the top. Some nice back and forth action here. Miss with that right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch with the clinch. Big powerful punch land. Now it gets back to range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice head kick. Single collar tie there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Let's shake it off. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold.
just out of range with that kick attempt. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big leg kick land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Punch is blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Big head kick lands. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. Leg kick. Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Straight right hand, no good. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Defense. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Good punch. Oh, head kick lands and with style points. Well done. Nice one, two there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Straight punch land. Back and forth we go. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, 
He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is Good now fight. underway. Hopefully the action good. continues at a high good. level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him flip. Oh, 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 oh. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Misses with that punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Just over three minutes to go now. And that one certainly found the target. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. What a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just a slip there. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Right hand upstairs. Straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Now connects with a right. The redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Flush right hand is true. Punch over the top. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And he comes through with a big knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> 
Final seconds here. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body. That's uh, three rounds in the uh, can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you gotta think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the make. Blocks the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just missed with the left there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Counters with that inside leg kick. Oh, 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 oh. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. A uh, little inefficient with that. that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Goes back to that left kick once again. Body kick is blocked. It's such a fast leg kick. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Right punches there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Good stick. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. All right, single collar tie now. It's very tricky when he throws that body down. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, head kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. One minute. Still nice body kick lands. 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's oh. he going to do to follow up? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice body kick. in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That was a nice strike. Nice. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round, so the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Gets up again it's here, but hurt. Nice, right. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice straight punch. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Slips the shot. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Now he... Whoa! He's out! 
A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he could get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.